Hi everybody, I'm Marisa Matias, I'm a member of the European Parliament from Portugal and I wish I could be with you today but unfortunately I have a conference at the same time and you know that it's very difficult. In any case, I want to just say some words on this issue because it's very important. I'm part of the interest group for uh, carers across Europe and uh, I do recognize the work that you are doing, the different projects and also the Euro Carers, the way is uh, paying attention to such an important issue in order that to provide justice to everyone in Europe. I've been working on these uh, problems for, I don't know, more than 10 years and uh, unfortunately we still don't have an answer to all carers across Europe. We know that the majority of the care is provided by carers and formal carers in the majority of the cases and uh, we still need to have uh, measures across Europe to provide the rights, the support, uh, not only financial support but also financial support. Normally when we talk about carers uh, we talk mainly uh, about uh, adults taking care of their parents or we talk about parents taking care of their children for some reason and normally we don't talk much about the subject of this conference which is children taking care of their parents and uh, it happens and it happens a lot across Europe. Uh, it's not uh, um, uh, a very simple issue to deal with because when we talk about children who take care of their parents is normally as you are discussing the issue of uh, parents with mental health problems. And so we have to try to, to, de to devote our time in order to find solutions for all the dimensions of this problem. First of all, children shouldn't be taking care in that sense. They should be also subject of care. And so it's very difficult, not only because they don't have the means as they don't have the psychological support in the majority of the situations. Also because we still need to fight the um, discrimination of people suffering from mental health uh, problems as we still don't have the same answer, the same capacity uh, and the same resources to deal with uh, the mental health problems. Also the visibility of these problems is not I would say at the same level as other types of disease. I don't know, other types of chronic diseases or physical diseases in the sense that you have something to show. And that's um, a huge problem. For the children, they need to be protected. They need to have psychological support. But for the parents who suffer uh, mental health problems, they also need to be protected and they also need to have support. So we are trying to find all the dimensions of the caregiving and try to find solutions, political solutions, in order to provide the support. I will not speak as an expert on this because I'm not and I know that experts have been talking in, the, in this conference. So I will look after uh, and see what are these expert contributions because as police, policy decision makers we have the obligation also to listen to experts. We have the obligation also to listen to the, caregiver, the carers because the way uh, society is organized we need to listen to these people in order to avoid silence them and forget them and not provide the proper answers. Uh, in Portugal, we were able to to create um, a, a, a kind of legal provision to support and to recognize the work of the informal carers. But I have to say that one part which is not covered is when we have children as carers. And so that's something that we still need to work as well at the national level. Uh, I thank you very much for, for giving visibility to this problem. And I really am willing to work together with you and to have all the feedback concerning the expertise in the field in order that we can advance as a group of the European Parliament composed of several members from different political groups 
uh, that we want to help you. We want to provide political solutions for this and especially to have uh, an answer, a social answer, some justice, some care and fully rights, uh, human rights and dignity uh, to those who devote their lives taking care of their wounds. Of course, with the children, as I said, there are different levels that we need to take into account. So I'm looking forward to work with you and um, just say that we, we were organized as a group in the parliament specifically to deal with these issues and to try to give answers to problems like the one you are raising in this conference. Thank you so much and please count on us.